Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the RN TV channel. It's your boy back here with some surprisingly entertaining nonsense. On today's video, we're gonna be helping my dad out. But yeah, my dad, he's got a new truck, right? My dad's gonna make it a daily driver, but there's a few little problems we gotta fix with it first. Today, what we're gonna be swapping is the fuel pump. I'm gonna have to drop the gas tank down, unplug all those little tiny hoses, pull the fuel pump out, put it back in. Shouldn't be that big of a hassle. We gotta take the Mustang today. We're gonna have to try to fit all the damn tools we need in there i need a transmission jack for the fuel tank so i don't know how the hell it's gonna fit in there we can't take the truck today because uh you probably know why it's come the time that they're just too bold man i don't want to drive on them damn i've gotten a lot done out there i'll give you all an update video on the farmhouse see look at that He's a good little puppy, but that one's being a stubborn little fucker. I'm sorry, guys, that I've not been holding true to my word, uploading a bunch like I said I was going to. When I said I was going to start grinding on videos, that was when I first moved into this house thinking, oh, I'm going to stay here a few years, save up some money, get everything figured out. But yeah, I'm supposed to be out of this house by April 14th. So that's my deadline. I got to have that farmhouse done by April. Got the sexy six in the building. Damn. Alrighty, folks, we're on my way to Dad's house. Y'all hear that? Garbage. Uh, what happened was yesterday I went to Subway. I've never been to that Subway in that town before. I was pulling out. I thought it was a pullout onto the street, but it turns out it was a damn sidewalk. <sighs> I pulled out, smacked the exhaust on the sidewalk. I heard it, I cracked a manifold. I'm not sure which I did. All I know is, is it's loud and it sounds like shit. And it smells like gasoline fumes. So I'm gonna roll down the window here. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be driving this vehicle. Uh, turns out the fuel pump did not come in today. We got it online and it was guaranteed delivery yesterday and it's the next day and it still didn't come in. So I guess we're gonna have to wait till Monday because tomorrow's a weekend. If you partake, <laughs> do the shit. We put this new thing on, got it on there. We kept trying to bleed it. Pedal still felt spongy. So I started bleeding it by the caliper. Still didn't have any air in the line. But then eventually after we kept trying to bleed it, I saw a stream of brake fluid. Line right up here behind the frame. It's all rusted out. We're just gonna have to splice a new little piece in. But then after we do that, we're gonna take the bed off. Fuel pump should be right around this area. If we were really lazy pieces of shit, we just cut a hole in the bed and get the fuel pump out that way. But the reason I came over today is so I could give dad a drivable vehicle. So this one, we're gonna have to wait on that fuel pump to come in if you didn't know my dad he sold his white truck then he was given this truck but after a few days of driving it to work the water pump just started making a god-awful noise spraying out cooling under it also the temperature gauge isn't working so we're going to swap out the thermostat for him yeah i saw, I saw it steaming there that's cool it mixed with oil the whole motor's coated with that so it's a no-go on the water pump mm -mm -mm. say hi so we had to stop last night because I had to go get a cutting tool and it was too late. All the parts stores were closed. But this is what we're looking like now. Got the bed sitting in the garage. Pulled it up here last night for some light. And yeah, I got the fuel pump loose. Put a new line. We spliced it in right there. And then instead of being a lazy sack of shit and splicing it right there, we just ran it all the way up and it already connects there. But yeah, here's the old brake line right here. The leak in it was right there just rust it up about to bleed the brakes and make sure nothing else is leaking and after the brakes are good get a new fuel pump slap that in everybody's gonna be amazed you're driving a bow tie dad not a ford <laughs> got the bed back on brand new fuel pump in it new brake line and the brakes are bled so she's ready to go dad's got a dependable truck to drive to work now all righty folks we're out here at the farmhouse uh getting some shit done out here we got dad's truck good to go. I didn't record a lot when I worked on dad's truck. Just has some shit going on and I just really didn't feel like recording. I'll get more into that at the end of the video. But right now, I'm gonna show y'all everything I've done so far out here. But before you watch this, I would highly recommend y'all watch my farm tour video. I showed everything I did before I even really started working on the house. It shows all the trash that was in it, everything that was on the ceilings, floors, walls. But yeah, I still got a lot of work to do in here. There's a lot of stuff still on the floor 
whole lot of trash to clean out but for the most part i got a lot of it stripped out so yeah let's check it out here's the living room got all the paneling ripped off all the ceiling tiles out of here still gotta rip some of this chipboard up same thing in here there's some chipboard up under all this but right here this is weird right like look at this wall this was actually from like the 1920s this was the old exterior of the house i know that because the boards are all the way down and all the way up so the only way to remove them is to basically take the whole back of the house part off so this stuff's been here for a long time they're using newspaper as wallpaper this is some really old 1920s great depression type shit here's the hallway panel and ceiling tiles out insulation ripped out as well here's the bathroom still got to rip that wall down back there and kind of finish ripping that shit out but i need to sweep all this out first rip these cabinets out too also rip all the kitchen cabinets out all the countertops sink insulation is very expensive so pieces that look like this pretty mint i'm just gonna leave those but pieces that look like that I'm just gonna rip those out and go ahead and replace it. There's a hole right here. We're gonna have to cut this out, put a new board there. That's pretty weak. Sliding glass doors are still there. They're still pretty men up here. None of the frame is rotted out or nothing. So we're just gonna keep this. Office, everything ripped out of it. All the bullshit, computer, desk, all that shit out of here. Better close this door, save some money on the electric bill. <laughs> the back bedroom, we ripped all the insulation out the ceiling in here. Still got to rip this carpet up. But we're going to walk back in here into the other bedrooms. Is another bedroom. This was actually my mother's bedroom when she lived here. But yeah, this is the old exterior of the house right here. These boards. Ow, damn, I just stabbed my hand through now. And this was the old doorway. So yeah, this used to be an outside door. You're probably wondering why I got all this this shit laid out like that that's because back here floor just sinks right in as soon as you step on it i ain't trying to fall through the basement so i'll just put some paneling down here to step on for now so we can finish ripping all that shit out so yeah that's what i've been up to man all i have to do now is clear all the rest of the shit out finally got electric on but i really don't want to just turn on a breaker and something just burn my house down so i'm gonna wait for one of my buddies he's coming over here he knows everything about all this he's really been helping me out with this house he taught me how to put the roof on he's going to teach me how to hang drywall and mud and everything he's good at teaching me all that stuff so he's going to come over here in a few hours turn some breakers on see what happens turn some of these lights on in here so we can get some light at night time i'm not just trying to slap all this shit together as cheap as possible i'm really trying to make it good like down in the basement i'm going to add structure to it like put new planks so the whole house overall just feels more sturdy you jump up and down the whole house don't rattle I want it to be a real sturdy feeling floor ready for this shit dog Oh ho! Dang! Finally! I flick a switch and a light comes on. I'm tickled to death over this. Man, it was such a process to get this shit on. These are actually the only two light bulbs that work in the house. All the other ones they busted when I was pulling ceiling tiles down. So I just got the lights off of my boat and I just hung it on the wall, plugged it into the outlet, and I mean, it's lighting up really good. I can see everything, man, and it's pitch black outside. Same thing in here. I got another light hanging. New breaker box we installed. Pretty wire work. Looks all nice and neat all my breakers are marked i know what all of that goes to and then down here i just got that led light off my boat sitting up there we walked around the house went to every single room we measured the ceilings we measured the walls we calculated where our seams are going to be and figured out if we're going to need eight foot pieces or 12 foot pieces of drywall if you didn't know i'm going to sheetrock all the walls and all the ceilings in here but we figured the whole house and i'm going to need 89 pieces of 12 foot drywall and 34 pieces of eight foot drywall but yeah we got all that figured up up. I'm waiting on my guy to let me know what his estimate on the price is going to be. But yeah, let me show you what I've done today. I ripped up the floor in here and I cleaned up all that stuff. I knocked this wall out right here so we can put a door. I got all the paneling off the walls, all the crap that was on the ground. Ripped all the carpet up, busted that closet out. We're definitely going to change all these boards in here. It's just rotted out to hell. But yeah, if you didn't know what I'm planning on doing, this was a bedroom, this was a bedroom, that was a bedroom. I'm just going to get all three of these bedrooms and make it into one big master king suite this is gonna be where i sleep right and then right there it's gonna be my bathroom i'm not gonna put a bathtub or anything in here i'm just gonna build a real nice tile shower and the bathroom's gonna be in here and then you walk in here this is gonna be my walk-in closet honestly i'm thinking about just keeping this real old rustic looking wood i kind of like it i think that would look kind of sick for a walk-in closet make it look all old-timey rustic looking i don't know man i'm not good at explaining with words what i'm gonna do 
All I know is, is when y'all look at this, y'all just see a big pile of shit. But when I look at it, I just see a shower over there, a bathroom sink over there, a toilet. But yeah, I'm just gonna back up and show y'all what this puppy looks like. I got this street light turned on in my name. Well, every night it just turns on itself. I'm gonna have to have my buddy bring his tractor over here and sit in the bucket of it and him raising me up and cut some of them limbs off here pretty soon. And also that walnut tree, it's growing over on top of the garage. I need to cut all them limbs off. Oh man, it's beautiful. Look Look at it, man. I get the best angle on that guy for a thumbnail. All right, y'all. I know my mic's garbage and it's hard to watch this video without wanting to slam your phone, but I want to get serious for a minute. I wanted to save this part for the very end of the video, but the day I found out is when I was going to go change my dad's fuel pump. I, as soon as I got out of the car, he just told me. I started crying right then and there. It's really big deal to me my dad doesn't though at all he just makes jokes about it all the time he actually told me in a joking manner so you know i know he's got this but uh dad he had some blood work done and it turns out he's got leukemia it's called chronic lymphnotic leukemia make sure to keep my dad in your prayers got any information that you think would help us then let me know please yeah i'm gonna end the video here guys hope y'all enjoyed like the video and I'll see y'all in the next one.